Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 a Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Long War Legendary Iron Man playthrough where I'm trying to go through the game mod and uh, stir up some drama with Advent and we've been very successful in doing so. Operation Punch and Laughter is the result of that. Uh, we're being attacked at our main facility and really what they are trying to do is um, do terror and get all our resistance operatives down. Uh, we need to protect the data tab and protect our resistance assets. So we're going to fight with a quite a sizable team uh, there. And I've put together um, the Blood Angels and the... Um, what else did I put together? I think it was Blood Angels and Space Wolves. No, Blood Angels and Ultramarines uh, were combining their uh, forces and we bring a full, I think, nine-man team onto that. We're running with uh, Dual Sniper. Uh, we got lots of cover removal. By the way, Implacable, I noticed just a little detail here. Not a bit too dark for a sniper. There you go, much better. So we're running with dual sniper, dual cover removal, psi, um, a lot of extra firepower in the mid uh, field, and a AA run for the healing. So uh, that should all be good. We still got a Haven Advisor theoretically on that mission, a Venom. So that's the second source of healing, and we're going right into it. No more holding back. This is going to be bare knuckles. Let's go. Interrate. So, we need to fight back Advent. You can see, boy, boy, we do have a large team. And there's an even larger team available here. Two, four, six, seven. We got Preter again. She survived the first onslaught. Has Infighter, the good Stiletto, uh, Heat Warheads, I like that. And even has Formidable. Holy moly, she is good. So we got some high ground possibilities. Some high ground options, as they say. Let's take them. Let's go to the high ground and see what is up there. Nothing yet. Hmm. Let's go to the other side. High ground. Okay, Prita. Might be standing over here also on high ground. For now, I think this is just a very safe place. Oh, we even got a light laser rifle. Ah, I see. That is our Haven Advisor. Accessing system. We don't want to give them any bonuses. We'll figure that out later. Although, uh, them knowing where we are, not the biggest problem. Getting a bit of extra intel. Not bad. Might as well do it now. I've got access. And then finally Whatever we're you putting say. you up there. Cover going out. Good time to use our enhanced cover here on the high ground. 
underutilized item. I like smoke, but oftentimes I don't find myself in the situation where we are trying to um, defend something. Alright, moves up. Grapples over. Rushes forward. Good. And that, to me, suggests uh, that we can do the exact same. Rush forward. We still got options to move um, up to the high ground. And everybody, and I mean everybody, out. begins to charge towards the actual location. Auto Overwatch. I'm on it. Overwatch. We've got our shot at the chosen. I knew it. Oh. That is bad. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, so she pierces armor. She does take less attacks from explosions and she hates Templars. Heads up out there. It's the Elder's assassin and she's moving into the AO. Okay, can we somehow miraculously spot her out? Oh yeah, we can. And uh, she is pissed. As in, she wants to get closer and hit us very much. So, what's the natural reaction? Absolutely. The triggering Advent. Make it worse for ourselves. Well, these guys are being taken care of for next turn, with the exception of uh, the Mac, of course. But, listen, listen, Seems doable. move away from the Chosen, and I would like to control that Mac. Almost. We could have disabled it, but not controlled. I can't get through. Good team. First and foremost, begins to move up. And finds out that Edwin has already spawned in. Great. In which case, we are going to ruin their day. This should explode the car. Try to get them. If you say so. Let's get the trooper. Oh, come on, Randon. I was counting on you.
Let's kill the trooper. Very good. You could have been something more had you been loyal to the elders. Let's get the sergeant. Good hit. Excellent hit. This might be a kill. Not a crit, but not a kill. I tell you what. Comet Presence and Darkrai will finish this guy. Doesn't matter that the loot is destroyed. We are putting the snipers on high ground, which is where they belong. And now we still have the chosen problem. And boy, that is a problem. Let's take her as the bait. Throwing grenade. That's a shredding. I like that. Okay, so much for the bait. Um, I can that. We can, I think, make her take fall damage. It should. Remove the tile that she's standing on. Okay, well, this is a bit tricky to stay here. She took some damage, and I'm sure we're going to see more problems. Yeah, we are in dense smoke. Uh, her weapon is draining the life of our soldiers. Mech, unfortunately, is coming in unmitigated, and that's a kill. Taking a couple of losses here, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's find the priorities. <clears throat> the Chosen certainly is a problem. But is it the priority? That's a good question. On your order. Moves over here. We're continuing with the fall damage trick, but worked well for us so far. There is no honor in this. 
didn't fall through the roof, unfortunately. Let's try that again. That will very likely mean we're going to we're going to lose one of uh, the civilians here. Chain shotting for maximum damage. Good hit. Unfortunately, the follow up hit wasn't there. She's now soaking up more and more hit points. Unfortunately, you can't crit her. But we can deal some damage. She's already at maximum impact comp uh, compensation, which is 60%, so... Uh, she will take him down completely. Unless we can make her fall. Or unless we can so. mind merge with uh, the next target. No, can't do that yet. Unfortunate. Let's get down to business. It is clear. This here is uh, she's going to tank for us. I think I got a piece. Unfortunately, a grazing shot. Six to nine, two, four, six, eight. That's a 50% uh, chance to kill him. I want a bit of a better chance. Hmm. Well, now it's a 60% chance. 75% uh, chance. Let's try to do that. Auto targeting the chosen. As the chosen is running a mock, and I don't like that. Aaron could help us with a crit, but she is not taking crits very lightly. 
That's another kill. slightly back and let's continue to hit her she should be moving into our direction now you will share in my pain. That is unfortunate. Just can't get to her quick enough. Got it. Just overwatch. That's okay. The uh, smoke will disappear after this round, I think. Flashback here would be so good to get rid of um, the reanimations. But we gotta find a way to stop that. Unfortunately, not quick enough to get completely ahead. Trouble sometime. A protocol. I think I would want to get uh, the implacable. The only one to have ever forced my withdrawal. Now you leave me no choice but to flee once again. We showed the chosen that the resistance is here to stay, Commander. Now we just have to find that thing and put it down for good. That's the best we can do for now. Let's take this one over as a Mimic Beacon. I'm in. 
More reinforcements are coming next turn, which is hilarious if you think about it. Sounds like a cliche line out of a superhero movie. You have the power. Let's explode this because it will explode the tank and the tank will then hopefully just do a lot of ouch ouch. Okay, that's what I generally would call a success. Still got the sectoids there. Moving to position. Give us fortify and Use the extreme solution. Bring in the pain. No problem, boss. Moves up, kills the sidewinder. to give these guys good targets. Good, that takes down two zombies. Kill the sector. Right. Good, implacable. If you say so. Move on to the next flank over here. One sector that could be killed. all the way up I want to be able to manipulate these guys containers unfortunately in the way but we need to clear out that flank elsewise we're going to lose and I never choose to lose unless I'm playing a campaign that is coincidentally having the same name Lots of further reinforcements. Oh, that's a good cluster up. They shoot into full cover. He does have his defensive skills up.
Don't cry. Needs a bit of healing. Our drone. Flies up. And hopefully stuns this guy. Disorients rather, that breaks mind control. Very nice. Look, we could go to here and hit the reinforcements really hard with a bit of a reality check. As in, move here, remove cover as much as possible. And then we're flame throwing through all of this. Two down, one burning, who is effectively down as well. Check it before you get too close. Lots of Valerian cores. What's over there? Moving in. And why is... oh, he's standing in high cut co in full cover, it's interesting. Good. Feeling uneasy. Let's try to get this guy down. He's panicked, so. Not much happening for him. I got that one. Officer gets a nice kill. to here and that should be implacable yep we need to reload next turn let's for now Stay in full cover. Your body grows weak. 
Good. Starting to injure him so that we can clear him out next turn. Priya here is going to tank for us. You want some more? Running dry on ammo. That stupid sector up there. Flanked from up here. I'll just overwatch. Lots of crowd control for us, which is good. They are trying the same though. That was a pretty bad mistake from his side. Okay, fantastic. Free reload. <clears throat> I don't want to be in the explosion range. This here is far enough away though. Fabulous. <clears throat> in and out. Skirmishers are fun. Very well done in Long War. Good. Look. We're going to make you insane. Just on top of your burning. He's now panicked. I like that. And can we kill the gunner? No, we cannot. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. This is not flanking, all right. Unfortunate. Well, we're taking high ground. <clears throat> and we do have really good aim with Ranvin, one of our strongest characters. Implicable and locked in. Might as well move back to here so that we can take on the other side. Can't really see anyone. How long until the surveillance drone is going to go off? One more turn after that, okay. Moves up.
Moving up as well. Nice little explosion here. Might remove some of the cover. Okay, well it does not, but it at least deals damage. So then, the obvious one would be 50-50, can we kill him in Placable? No. Venom moves up. Oh, I forgot about you. Gosh, I forgot about you. That little sector is still there. So here, question is, do we hit him with a grenade? Yes is the answer, that might be a kill. It very much is a kill. We're moving into full cover. Moving further up. Let's take a bit of an overwatch just in case that sector is beginning to move. Shot wide. Okay, that's why I placed him here. I didn't want the sector to luckily kind of crit and end this mission with basically killing the objective. Reload. Utilizing hook. That's a grapple. Move up into close range. <laughs> Just missed him by one. In that case, a Priya here needs to take the lead on getting the sector down. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Good. Rating acceptable. Well, we lost a few of our uh, Haven operatives. The problem is uh, with the Chosen, there is really only that much you can do. Like, all of, nearly all of them, 4 out of 5, were killed by the Chosen herself. If you go through 50 hit points worth of damage, I don't know, I mean, it's just a lot. Namri. I think we're going with Heat Warheads again. That shredding is good. The cry is out of action for now. Formidable isn't bad either. This here might be good for the fire immunities by thinking about it. I mean, Formidable is really good. But I'm starting to appreciate the flamer more and more. Phosphor isn't bad. This here is great, the burnout. And the incinerator is good as well. 
But I think we'll just need to do formidable for now. So profile is good, long, uh, long watch is good as well. Since I'm tending to be quite far back, let's do long watch. Got some decent stuff out of it. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Rookies are still alive. That's good. Hmm. For starters, continue your training, please. Thank you. Combat armor almost done. I need all of the funds for that. And let's just double check. Is there anything that we could do? This is too little time. This is too little time. This is already happening. Yeah, lol, not happening. Zero hours. But that year could actually happen. You should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Blood Angels. I think you guys are actually doing quite well, the Ultramarines. already have a sniper so we don't need a second one a bit of frontline or rain uh, or support would be good and I know where we can get the support from there you go But the support is already support of a different team. Never mind. I think you are now becoming part of the Ultramarines. There you go. <clears throat> Grenadier, Sharpshooter. Skirmisher Specialist Ranger Gunner looks good. Gunner is uh, currently not available. 60 days is a long time. But yeah, let's do this. Uh, I'll figure this out, guys. All right, <coughs> all right. After a bit of uh, fiddling, we're going to end up with 16 to 18. I don't think that I can. Uh, I could boost it down to very light, but. I think it's still going to be okay. Uh, we just need to extract supplies, so we should be fine. And we got a good team with a Psy operative on top of it, so the Ultramarines are ready. Toxic is seeing quite a lot of action. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the way that the Psy operatives should be played, because they are also kind of training at the same time. And at the moment he is not doing that as much. But yeah, good. This here is still ludicrous amounts of enemies, uh, so it's not going to happen. And here we do have people in hiding. That, per definition, cannot be. You're going to work on intel. Here in this haven, we do have too many people... Um, that are not recruiting, so this is down to nine since people were dying. This is a recruiting haven, so we're continuing to recruit. That works. Unfortunately, we have lost our haven advisors. Well, we haven't lost them, but they are currently not there. In the ones where we are recruiting, let's just put 
a few people down to help uh, with quicker recruiting and that's really it um, we do have supplies that I would want because we want to build predator armor and that requires supplies well combat armor I should say not predator armor well it is predator armor nice Templar shield upgrade battle armor that is so good Stun Lancer for melee weapons, or we're taking this here uh, since soon the Proving Ground uh, facility should be done. Yep, 12 rounds. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Upgrading <clears throat> the timing. Just double checking, is that 50%? No, it is actually cumulative. Okay, so it's minus 100% uh, then. Good, get your training done. Training is important, which is why we're training so many people at the same time. <coughs> because the game really rewards you for that. Fantastic, 12 ability points, this is so, so good. Okay. Alien loot. Mm -hmm. 14 ability points. That's good. Bond. Intel. I think we need to do this here. Nah. Don't need corpses. Supplies are good. Upgrades. This is also not bad, but... I would rather get uh, the Reapers than anything else and in terms of just general to-dos, I think um, I think assault plus maybe a sharpshooter are a good combination. Just in case if uh, the chosen is coming in. Okay, Jim really needs the extra hit points. And that'll be it. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the Good. It would be fun if we can reduce that, but we're still stuck with three engineers, so it's really bad. I might be forced to buy a fourth one. Good. We do have another Psy Operative, Quake, in this case. Welcome to the team. Yeah, we're, we can do all of that a little bit later. The question is, what are we going to do with uh, Quake? Um, so Quake can't train further because he has not yet uh, received enough experience, apparently. Which means we need to put him on a mission and he's going to go on to that next mission. He's a little bit shy on those, uh, of those really, really high... Um, sonic values here but here was only one point short beforehand so I can only imagine that these guys already do have better gear and that's where it is coming from this here is too low for Psy operatives so we're not going to even bother can we recruit someone 
the answer as always is nope nope Nice, 100 supplies is very, very helpful. You know, might as well go to the black market. Maybe we're buying an engineer just so. What are the options here? 180, that's a steep price. Corporal technician. Hmm. For 60. We could use another technician, I mean. Hmm. But we could also go for an engineer. We have plenty to sell. They are interested in alien alloys uh, this time around. Lucky us, because we have plenty of them. And we have a lot of alarium cores as well. All of a sudden, it doesn't look that bad anymore. Get the engineer. Yes, please. And get Wheeler. We still need more soldiers. Supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new Redford. We already know that. Like that's new. Uh, that is old news. Okay, fire in the hole. I like that. Like fortify. Yeah, we're sticking with fortify. What else does he have? Death from above. That is great. That is actually fantastic. That is good as well, together with Death From Above. Oh yeah. Oh, went hit and run. Hmm. Can't trigger together with Death From Above? It can, okay. You are a sweetheart, I like that. How about emergency life support so that in case you are killed? That you're just bleeding out. I like that as well. He's called Beta. Okay. Hmm. Someone was recruited somewhere. Oh, right here. Perfect. Back to Intel, where, by the way, New Indonesia now has a vigilance rating of 19. They know what's up. This is crazy high. Uh, just waiting for the liberation to happen, because this is not going to be a long-term long prospect. A couple of Valerium corpses, yes, please. And they're in cores, not corpses. And we even got Predator Armour 1. Great. Now that we do have 250, I am wondering. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. Upgrade this year. And we'll put that in to then get that. Can empty one. Training center here we wanted to get more contacts. We do have plenty at the moment, so that's not the problem. And down here we wanted to build uh, the, the infirmary. So that's happening next. Proving grounds is happening behind enemy lines. Could be sped up, right? A couple of days that we're winning with that. So I'll take every, uh, any little bit that I could get. Forces under strength. 
Yep, tell me something new. I think we can go back to just heal for now. And hopefully we're going to find a couple more missions. At the moment we're doing well with the Avatar project. I also sense we're generally doing quite well. One day. Yeah. Seven days, that's more like it. Find a lead. Into package. Uh, enemies, Psionic and Tech are doubled. That on the other hand is not that cool. Don't like it. Okay, so who could be onto, uh, going onto this mission? So for starters, the Blood Angels are theoretically ready. So all we need to do is that and that. And I think these were our Haven advisors, right? Good, Blood Angels. Uh, taxi are almost done with training. Don't want to take uh, them away. But Angels already has such a full roster. What is missing? So we had would have a technician. Already have that. Could get Vigor as a cell operative in here. We don't have that yet, so Let's select that, and we still have room. Um, the DM is from a different spot. Uh, what spot is the DM reporting in? Oh, down here. Oh, I see. Ultramarines. Space Wolves are infiltrating and they definitely could use another technical. Hmm. Okay, so who else are we taking? Go take a ranger. Who would not be with his swap then. Or we take or we take a rookie. I already mentioned that that's a quick way of learn uh, of promoting them. Might as well do that. Okay, let me uh, fix the equipment. All right, we would be uh, going up to 125%, even that would reduce uh, the baseline activity quite a bit. Build some Predator armor and boy boy, that is expensive. 30 uh, supplies and quite a bit of, uh, of alloys, so, whoa. Anyways, not, uh, not bad. I've got it on Quake and Aviator for now can build a couple more if we're going to the black market. But yeah, th those uh, those uh, new armors are good. If you just look at it, plus three health, plus one armor on top of it, that is great. It's a good armor. And yeah, let's just start the infiltration really quickly. Good, back for uh, back to go to healing. Uh, 
Okay, lead by example is great if he does have great uh, values. So specifically for will and for aim, so and so. Collector isn't bad either. Any non-human uh, enemy will have a 33% chance to grant intel as long as uh, the collector is healthy. So I think we're going uh, with lead by example, aim, will and hack. Let's just look at the stats. Hack, mm, really not that uh, relevant because we won't improve it for the those who need improvement. But aim could be relevant uh, since he does have a decent aim and will again could be relevant uh, if we give him for instance also a superior will then it is definitely relevant but let's go for lead by example and just double checking he is still training yeah he is still training okay Uh, connected in a straightforward recruitment. Does that mean, oh yeah, 32. That's my man, Giacobo Gianese. You are going to be a Psy operative and you're going to be a good one. I like what I'm seeing, 32. Mm. That's good. That's very good, but before we can uh, take that, we need to do the next mission, which needs to launch now or be aborted. But in the meantime, well, that brings us to the end of today's episode, actually. And in the meantime, you can let me know how you like uh, the Long War mod so far in the playthrough in the comments down below. See you in the next episode and take care. Bye bye.